Hello there, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey here, back with another episode of some RuneScape. How are we doing? I'm still just as excited, and I think I'll continue to be excited every single episode of this playthrough. I, I really hope that you're on the same level of excitement as me. It's probably unlikely, because <laughs> I, I, I just adore this game, but guys, yes, yeah, so let's get into this. We've got some more treasure. Oh, what the heck is this? I've never seen this before. This is new. Okay. Search for special treasure within the map and receive a prize each time you uncover something on the grid. Uh, these are special chests which contain an assortment of special prizes. This is a list of what special chests are buried. What the heck? Find all special chests within the map and you'll automatically move on to search another area filled with more special chests. This is completely new. Wow. Okay. So we've got a brand new thing here. Let's search here. Okay. We've got Prismatic Fallen Star. That can go straight into the backpack. Uh, what about here? Oh, a large fallen star of smithing. <laughs> okay, that's going straight into the backpack as well. What about in this corner? We've got none left. No, wait, we have. We have got more left. Oh, well, okay. Protein trap. Okay, that can definitely go in the bank. They are uh, traps that we can use for more experience for hunting. So they will definitely go into the bank just there. And then we've got one left just here. Okay, so let's put that in the backpack. Now... We've got no more keys left, and we probably should start clearing out some of this. So let's uh, give get, gain experience, small fall of star, and smith, uh, thieving, smithing. So there we go, 75 bonus experience into thieving. Again, I've already spoken about this. It's uh, it's a little bit too easy for my liking, but okay. So we've now got every time we get um, we get some experience into thieving, we also get a bonus. As you can see, it's 75, and that bonus will get used up when we do it. We don't get it now; we get it as we're going along. So it'll be effectively around double. So I think sort of like that. Choose skill prismatic star. Oh, gain a lot. Gain experience. Large fallen star and smithing. So there we go. So 300 bonus experience for smithing will now be added. And where is smithing? What am I doing? It's up here. So there we go. 300, which is great because smithing is a very hard uh, one to. Although you know, is it great <laughs> that we don't? We're going to keep this one here as well. Uh, the same as all these. So this, yeah, we'll just keep it for the moment. This I'd like to put it in my uh, open store. Oh, okay. Silver Hawk boots, free. Well, I'll buy them if they're free. This will cost you nothing. <laughs> Fantastic. And it's five armor to all. And it's brilliant. Look at them. Look at these crazy boots. Oh, <laughs> they're hawk feet. Okay, then. I didn't know that was a thing. So there you go. They were nice and free. 60 ornaments for metallic dragon trinkets. Get okay, very effect. Fighting metallic dragons. Okay, same as these were chronic dragons. Well, look at this crazy, crazy. What else have we got here? Just some upgrades and stuff. All right, it's all new to me. Right, but anyway, we were in the middle of a quest going to find a demon. So let's go down here. Take care, hero. This place is likely crawling with Danaf's fanatics. I don't know what his voice was in the last episode. It will always change. Okay, so we have to watch out here. We got oh, there's a fanatic cultist. Oh, look at them go with their magic spells. Well, I've gone to the wrong place. Oh, easy, easy. Down you go. Come on. Is this guy even helping, or is he just standing there looking good? Hey there. I'm just gonna stay in this pose. That's that takes care of them. Let's move on. Let's keep our skills here. Oh, we've also got some cooked meat from him. That is wonderful. What do we get from the other one? Some more cooked meat, and there's something else there. What? What does that say? The golden beam shines over one of your items. What? What? Okay. I don't really know what that is, but that's new. Um, but let's go and kill these other cultists. Hiya! Thank you. That was really strange. I don't know what that beam is all about. Uh, but anyway, yes, we're going to have a look at this. So there we go. We've just gone up another level uh, in defense, which is really level four now. Don't worry, guys. The levels will start to get unbelievably hard to get up net, uh, levels and I want to get to a point where I can say to you I'm going to do some stuff in between episodes just like we do in Minecraft uh, there will be to oh, is there no end to this extremist quickly you must press on um, there will <laughs> look at these boots shaking my feathers they're ridiculous um, yeah guys there are definitely going to be skills that take so long that I'm going to need to do a lot of off camera work to get a lot of them done uh, which I definitely will oh our health's gone up and our strength and our attack oh, great time here come on let's just take Come on, you do it. Come on. That's it. Sort him out as well. No, don't talk to Gideon, but I don't care what he has to say. Right. That's the last of them. Let's find Thingy before it's too late. <laughs> it's going to be called Thingy. Uh, let's take no, Gideon, just get off the cooked meat. We're going to take all this just for the moment. Because this will be early sources uh, of food. 
for us, which we will, which we'll be needing. So we've got 11 constitution now. That's fantastic. Our health's gone up. Uh, right, through this way we go. Trying to get as much of this done as possible, because I really do. I want to get out. I want to show you some more skills. Uh, and I want to set something up for in between episodes so we can start getting this done. Arise, almighty Delrith. Bring destruction to this soft, weak city. Don't I have to stop? I'll just say I've changed... Already in this episode, I've changed his voice. Well, well, if it isn't Gideon Bade. <laughs> it's all just... <laughs> I'm surprised you had the nerve to pursue me. You should have stayed in Edgeville, bookworm. You're already too late. Behold! Diabolica Fratry. With cleansing fire, I break the seal that binds thee. No! Ha ah, ha! The demon is unbound. I'd love to stay and witness your annihilation, but I'd best be far away when Dederif incinerates Varrock. Farewell! Oh no! I hope you brought Silverlight Hero. Steal yourself. Steal myself. He's level 15. Oh! I'm free! The Rav of Bomb! Stop him at the wall! That's his voice. Oh, look, we've been shielded by something. What? <laughs> I must rest the shield. Oh, well, he's gone. Oh, no, he's over there. Okay, Hero, slow down with now. <laughs> Here we go, let's beat him up. Level 15 though, whoa, scary. Scary, scary times. Lucky we've got all this cooked meat that we picked up in case we might need it. Prepare to be incinerated! <laughs> I think that's his exact voice. And I whoa there! Whoa there indeed. Let's, let's please eat the food, eat the food, eat all of the food. Wow, I did not expect to be uh, nearly dead already. Prepare to be incinerated! No, I should get away from this. Is that what's happening? I don't know. Oh, it's had me a lot. It's had me quite, a, quite a bit of a lot. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this is bad news, bears. This is bad news, bears. I need to... Wait, what is it I'm missing here? Something happens when he says that and it kills me. Wait, I've got other skills that I'm not using. Oh, no. Right, run away. Can I run away from this? He's running back towards it. No, he likes to be killed. What, what am I doing? Because I'm going to die in a minute. And I don't want to die this early. I'm actually going to die. Please kill him. Please, he's charging something. No, kill him. Just kill him. Kill him, please. I'm going to die. I'm going to actually... Okay, I didn't die. We're okay. Maybe it's just a percentage. Can we kill him, please? Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Mike, whoa, he absolutely exploded. That was fantastic. Okay. That that was worrying. Okay, I really thought that was going to be... I thought I was going to die. Dorothy's is defeated, but this place is coming apart. Let's get out of here. Oh, my goodness. I did start to worry, guys. I'm not going to lie. I thought that's it. I've died in RuneScape within the third episode. Well done, hero. Your actions saved not only myself, but all of Varric from being turned to smouldering ash by Dareth. Hero, you certainly earned this. Yes, another quest completed. You have completed Demon Slayer. You are awarded three quest points. Silverlight is a sword we can keep. Three combat experience lamps worth 100 experience each. Uh, a Vernic Wand and book, so that'll be cool. That's a magic weapon right there. And two Treasure Hunter Keys, yes. You have earned the Pathfinder Trousers, yes! Great! Oh, apparently we can go to the next Lodestone. It really wants us to do it. Do we have to? Do we really have to go to Berthorp now? Let's go to Berthorp. I mean, we could probably stop it, actually. When... Yeah, no, let's stop it. We are right stopping it? Great, we know the next quest is in Berthorp. Good, good. How far are we through the episode? I mean, we can still do it, that's fine, because we're not quite through the episode, but I did want to go from, through some more things. So let's wear these trousers, where even... Oh, my bed has just broken. Oh, good. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I sit at the end of my bed to do these, and one of the slats is completely broken underneath. I really need to invest in a new one. And did you hear that? You must have done, because the microphone is... <laughs> It's on top of my mattress. Oh, good. I hope I fall through the bed at some point soon. Well, we'll see how this progresses through the episode. Anyway, we've got some uh, combat lamps here. And we want to put them into ranged. That's what we want. So 100 experience into ranged. You've been awarded. Uh, yes, I'm glad, I'm glad we have. Uh, and again, ranged. That's great news. I'm, I'm so glad we have. And more ranged. Lovely. So there we go. So that's getting our range up. Still only level 5. We haven't gone up. Anything in here that we need to have a look at? Nothing's changed. Really. No. All this new. Level 5 ranged. Here we go. We've got a quick bow we can use. Oh, that's 
that's great. We've just seen that someone's achieved two million experience in range. So, way well, well done to that person, I suppose. <laughs> I'm only level five. Um, okay, so what we can do is, where's the? Let's go uh, this way. No, wait, this way. One way. Where are we? Where have we come out? Oh, we come out like that. Okay, so the bank should be down here, maybe. I hope. Stop telling me where to go. I don't want to do what you say. Yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah, look, we can definitely go there. That's great news. Goodbye. I don't want to do that. I want to use my bank. Telling me what to do and forcing me to do it. The bank can be used to store items. Yes, I, th I think we know. I think we know this. Yes, no, I think we know. Yes, no. Good. 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 Stop telling us things that we know. Right, this is fine. Uh, let's put these in. Let's put that sword in. Also, let's get this charge bow out and get it equipped because we are going to want to start using this now. And I think... We should be allowed to look at it. Look at it. All right. All right. We'll go to Berthorpe. Is it Berthorpe? Is it even Berthorpe? I don't know anymore. <sighs> right. Yes, we've got to do this because apparently we'll be told off. Oh, we're combat level seven, which is nice. Um, and something has just been added to my mini map. What is it? A hint arrow. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's really exciting. Okay, so let's follow this and do yet more questly stuff then. Come on. Can I move, please? My goodness. Right, what is this? We've got... A gnome shopkeeper here. I didn't mean to do that, did I? Oh, wait. That's free. RuneScape contains a variety of shops where you can buy and sell items. You can scroll down to see more. Purchase an item, simply left click it. I think I did actually accidentally just. Uh, I don't know. And then click the buy button. Oh, right, okay. So we've got all this that's free. We've got a charge bow here. I don't think this. No, it's not even as good as the one I've got. Not even any of this, really, to be honest. Uh, and then we've got the yeah, bronze gear. Yeah, that's, that's lovely. To sell an item, click this tab. Obviously, we can't sell any of these items because a few of them are quest items. Um, and a few of them, you just can't sell. You just cannot sell um, for obvious reasons. And then click the sell button. Lovely jubbly. Let's back out of this shop. Is that all you wanted me to come in for? You have earned the Pathfinder boots. Well, that was absolutely strenuous. And that now puts my silver... Oh, my lovely silver hawk boots. What does that mean, though? Oh, it means you can add things to them, possibly. Okay, there's a lot I need to figure out with this. Talk to challenge Mistress Farah. Oh yes, this is this is a way of getting some uh, big experience every day. Hey Stretch, I should probably do her a bit of. Hey Stretch, if you're looking, no, I don't like that either. You're <laughs> if you're looking for something to do, you've come to the right place. I can assign you some basic challenges from my list. I gave up on the voices. This isn't the voice I'm giving it. Uh, these are daily challenges which I'll reward you for if you complete them. Just bring me anything you collect, and I'll give you something useful in return. Yes. It's simple, just pick one of the challenges I assign you, complete it, and come see me for a reward. You'll need to give me anything you collect, of course, but rewards I give out are much better. So what are you waiting for, Beanpole? Go get started. Call me a Beanpole because she is a dwarf, so that is that is quite funny. Um, let's click here to access the challenge system. The challenges will show tasks that are appropriate for your level, including daily challenges. It's a good place to look if you want to find something to do. Daily challenges marked with a star and gave extra rewards when handed in. Yes. So, just quickly, the normal challenges are literally just like, oh, here's a challenge for you to set yourself. Just do this thing that you can do anyway and you'll get nothing extra for it. But daily challenges will give you bonus excellent things uh, that are very, very useful. So, click the basic challenge. Click the pin. Okay, we're going to do this together. Click, check the hints down below to see what to do with it. What is it? Test your combat skills against the cows. Oh, okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be a challenge, I'll tell you that guys. I don't know how we're gonna really get through this, but I suppose we can do it together. Attack the cow! Hiya! Poor cow, what did the cow do? Kill five cows, there's one now. Oh, it hasn't counted. Oh, okay, because it wasn't quite in the pen. Oh sorry. Sorry. Now a little fun thing, if you do actually kill cows over and over again, there will actually uh, be a boss cow that comes down. If you keep doing this for ages, I'm pretty sure uh, there will be a crazy boss cow. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, we're getting a nice bit of experience from this as well. Just going up and up in our range attack, which is very useful. But I don't think I'm going to be able to... I think you might need a person with you just to make sure you clear out the pen. I think there has to be no cows left. Not too sure if that's definitely true. There's also all of these items that we're going to take as well, just quickly, because I'll show you something with this. Bones will bury. Uh, this we can cook, of course. Oh, look, last rites, you ran out of bones. Wow, apparently that was a... Uh... Oh, cool. Okay, didn't know that. The leather, you can you can go and get it tanned. Oh, wait, no, this is actually part of a basic training quest. Oh, yeah, no, we'll definitely do this as well. I didn't mean to attack you. I'm never so sorry. 
let's take these bones as well and let's take some more bones and now let's bury all of these together it should do it all together come on keep going are you going to bury him okay don't worry then lovely and we've gone up oh no that was just the challenge that we completed um and now if we return this challenge we can get a little reward now, some of the items that you de get from challenges, you have to keep them and trade them into her. So it is, you know, it is for her, but she'll give you something better in exchange. Turn in challenges. By the way, if you've got things for me and they're not in your backpack, I'll just take them straight from your bank. That's all right with you? Yes. Right then, let's get to it. Let's check this one. Basic challenge, Brett. Uh, prayer, sorry. You completed that one. Here's your reward. So we get a big chunk of prayer experience. Let's check this one. Combat. You completed that one. Here's your reward. Oh, we've got a... Uh, Challenge experience lamp. You've completed a basic challenge. Over the challenge. Select a pin. Oh, select and pin a new basic challenge. What else do we have there? Oh, we've got all of these other ones. Looks like that's everything. There we go. So we've leveled up because we've got that. That's brilliant. So we've got basic challenge of mining. I love mining. Mining is my favourite. Uh, so let's pin this. Can we pin them all? Oh, it doesn't matter. You just do them. Okay, so we've got to catch five shrimp. Chop trays and receive three normal logs. Okay, so these are all very, very, very simple. I really just wish this one on the tree. <laughs> Is there a tree? There's a tree there. Lovely. So let's chop down three trees. Wait, what is that? I, I think I'm going to have to just put this just here because there's something in the way where I record the videos. And I can't quite see it. Oh, no, 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 I'm just going to put it back. I'm going to try this up your best years. Come on, Mr. Slowy Chopper. Uh, oh, Adventurer's Log. Look, we've leveled up. To level two wood cutting, fantastic. So we can chop wood knots from normal trees. Haven't seen that before, don't know what that is. Um, right, now these trees should replenish as well. Come on, quickly, I need to chop another tree down. Please, come on. Oh, how long does it take for another chop down tree? Haha, there's another one over there. This one is just gonna pop up in three, two, one. No, it didn't. Happen. We're okay, we're okay. last tree and we will be sorted and then we'll rub our challenge lamps and it's telling us to go into the mine to, uh, to do the next bit of the uh, mining one which we will do right after if we ever get this log see as you go up levels as well it'll be much easier to chop down logs chopping it's taking this long to take a, to a log from a normal tree is ridiculous look at this look at this and obviously the more levels you go up uh, sorry, as you go up levels, you'll be able to chop down better and uh, stronger trees that will, when you sell the logs, you'll get a lot more money for them as well, and they can be used to craft a lot better things, uh, just as is the uh, obvious way. Oh my goodness, is this, right, okay, okay, yeah, cool. That's an oak tree, we can't chop that down yet, we're not level 15. So this is one of the things I'm going to do in between episodes, guys. I'm going to chop down trees uh, until... And sh I'll show you the level ups, don't worry, I will uh, record them because they're, they're parts of it that, that definitely need to go in. You're leveling up is the whole point of it. Um, obviously, going, you know, going up to that bit is going to be pretty worthless, but I'll show every, you know, the amount of logs that it took to get to that level. I'll, I'll, I'll show you them, I'll you know, show you them in the inventory and everything like that so we can see where we are um, with our goods and stuff like that. Everything uh, like that that's fun will be shown. Right, okay, so let's mine copper ore then. Copper ore here, there's another one there. And again, it's going to take us a little bit more time than it would, say, if we were 20 levels higher to mine these. It's, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. So, uh, level, I don't know what level it is, but there's iron rocks. Um, and uh, uh, certain levels, you literally walk up to the rock and you've mined it straight away, and that's it. That iron rock just becomes a 0.001 second <laughs> mining. Uh, okay, how many of these are we getting? Three lovely stuff. So this last one will be that. Uh, and then we've got fishing as well to do, so I might do that quickly as well. How are we doing for time? We are doing just fine. We've still got a little while left. So yes, yeah, so all these little basic quests at the moment, you know, they're just they're just showing us what we can do in the game. We've still barely touched on a lot of it, and I must make sure for those of you that haven't seen it to go through a lot of the stuff uh, while still keeping it fun for the people that have seen it. That's the uh, that's the sort of problem that I have. Uh, but I think we can do that. It's gonna be it's gonna be fine. Can we mine the rock ever? Yes, we can. Good. I'm so glad. You need to hand in the copper ore. So make sure you hold on to it. So there we go. We'll tell you um, that we need that. So we've also gone up in mining level two. Oh, I was looking at that. We can mine lapis lazuli from copper and tin de uh, deposits. That's great. And it's members only. Well, it just so happens we are member. What's this? Rune score. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let's look at our. I've got a little bit. Let's look at our prayer. Nothing yet. Woodcutting. 
those uh, wood knots from all trees. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay then, let's head on uh, out of here and see where's where's a place to fish. Because this is just pin that's telling us to go back. But if we have a look on our world map, we should be able to see. Yeah, that's a fish. Don't know if that's just a fishing hut or what. We'll pin it when we do it. We'll, it. we'll, we'll uh, hand these in. Oh, no. Turn challenges in. Yeah, we've already said this. Yes and don't tell me again. That's fine. All right then. I'll just get straight into it in the future. Let's check this one. Basic ch the challenge: wood cutting. 193 experience into wood cutting. We've gone up to level four. It just hasn't shown us the uh, thing yet. We, we, it will do. Let's check this one. Basic challenge: mining. Here's your reward. We've gone up to level four in mining as well. So that's everything. Lovely stuff. So we're going to get the last basic training challenge uh, and we're going to pin it and then we're going to go and collect them right okay so mining four out of four we haven't actually got anything new uh wood cutting no nor have we in that that's absolutely fine though so where's it telling us to go it's telling us to go down here so yes it's gonna we're gonna go all the way to the river and um, we're gonna get some crayfish which we've already done before this is a lovely area for smelting back in the olden days of future uh, future in the past in the future <laughs> back in the olden days of runescape you had to go to Varric, um sorry it would be fell fell is it oh my goodness i'm forgetting the names of places and that is so bad for me Falador. it's Falador. i don't need to look uh you need to go to Falador to do one thing which would be the uh smelting although it's a pottery oven uh which would be yeah which where there's a furnace and then you have to travel to Varric where there was anvils uh to do things but now everything is all in one place again once you've made it hard it, and then you turn it easier, it kind of kills off a bit of the game in a way. It's like, okay, we've accepted that it's, it's hard and a challenge. That's fine. But you've made it easier now. It's just like, oh, all these new players coming in, getting it much easier than I <laughs> But uh, yes, we're, we're also getting it easy now with our... You think, you've just found a strange rock. Fantastic news. Okay, that's good. I can now explain these. Um, Fishing's another pretty simple one. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we've got challenge mystery bags from those ones. I didn't even do them. Okay, lovely. So we need one more of these, and then we will be fine, and I'll explain the really strange rock. Okay, lovely. That's that done. So strange rocks. There are two of each skill. Oh, sorry. There's two strange rocks for each skill uh, on this skill board. So you take these to the uh, is it the archaeological i don't know the, or something a, a museum <laughs> and you trade them in for a great heap of uh, experience for them until you beat um completely build the statue and then you i think i don't know what happens when you completely build the statue i don't think i've done that before uh, but we will be trying to do that the whole way so we've got one there okay let's check this one basic challenge fishing so there we go 174 experience Lovely. All the basic stuff done. I found a baby troll sniffing around my things. Could you look after it for me? Thanks. You have adopted a baby troll pet just like that. Uh, to have him follow you, open your inventory and click on him. You can feed the baby troll by using an object on him from your inventory. Watch out. If you like to taste, you won't get it back. And you have also uh, earned the amulet of potency. Okay. Oh my goodness. It wants us to go somewhere else again. It is just non stop. <sighs> we're going to quickly go to Tavoli. Tavoli is a, is a very short walk. We could just walk down there. We were pretty much near Tavoli just then, I'm, I think. Um, okay, it's just getting us used to all the sort of main towns. I hope this is the last one, but I am worrying that we might need to go to Falador as well. I'm not too sure. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got, though. We've got a Rub Challenge Experience Lamp. And once again, yeah, we're definitely going to choose ranged. Uh, so, oh, wow. 52. I think it's percentage-based. Open Challenge Mystery Bag. What did it give me? 127 coins? Was that it? What else? Grimy Guam. Lovely. That's good. We'll put that in for uh, some herb lore. And um, what's this? 90 coins. And what else? That was it. Okay. And. Oh, we got a raw lobster. Not too bad. We won't be able to cook that for absolutely ages. Uh, okay, let's walk with Baby Troll then. So we've got our pet here. Come on then. There he is, that follows us behind little baby troll. What happens if we uh, talk to the baby troll? Talk to the baby troll. We fight. We fight? You're too young to fight. <laughs> I think it's scary. Uh, you have to eat a lot more vegetables first. I know what to be named vegetable. <laughs> oh yes, because anything they eat, they then become named, of course. So yes, that is uh, the funny thing about the baby troll. If you feed it something, it will then be called it. We'll have to see. We can feed it lobster. It'll be called lobster. We don't want to do that. Right, let's talk to this guy. What can I do for you? I'm not too sure, mate. 
Not too sure. Ask about Shadow over Ashdale. I've received some troubling news, Larry. As you probably know, supplies are ferried all over Ashdale on a regular basis, but about a week ago, the supply ch ships started returning with their cargo still on board. Not great as a Scottish accent, is it really? It's okay. Apparently, the island has been completely deserted. Not a soul has been seen. And the sailors say an evil aura hangs over the place. Naturally, I'm eager to find out what's going on, but I'm too old to be getting or jetting off on an adventure. I need someone to travel to Ashdale and investigate. Well, I guess we'll just have to do it because I don't think we can actually do anything else but what you tell us to do at the moment. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, laddie. When you're ready to leave, just head out onto the boat. The boat there will take you directly to Ashdale. Okay, good luck, laddie. I think this is the other tutorial that it was afterwards. Yes, guys. So that is what this is. And that is what we'll be doing in the next episode. But I think I'm a little bit free enough to do stuff now where I'm not going to be completely pestered all the time. And I can get on with doing some stuff over, uh, over the course uh, of... Yeah, in between episodes. So let's put the strange rock in here at the moment. Amulet of potency. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it does. I think it's just it just does what it says. Prayer bonus. Armor type. Yeah, that's not not too bad actually. A valuable amulet. We will we will put it on. Prayer bonus. Okay, so what does that do? Does it actually continuously boost our prayer? I mean, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, let's click on fishing as well. Alrighty, dokey. So let's uh, yeah, let's deposit this. Deposit the lobster, and lobster we're going to drag into here, and it will make this now the food tab. So we can put anything in here that is food. So that can all go in there. Uh, anything else? No. Okay, and then I'm going to choose what else should we make. We've got compost stuff for uh, for that. Yeah, it's always good to have a herb law one. I like that. So you're going to be the herb law tab. Uh, what else have we got? Weapons and stuff. Yes, we definitely need weapons and stuff in one. So that's going in there. That's going in there. One's going in there. That is going in there. Lovely stuff. Uh, and we can also put clothing in there because we don't have that many tabs. How much space do we have? 468. Lovely stuff. Okay. Um, that's her law, so the Eye of Newt can go in there. Okay, yeah, I think we're all right for a minute. Hunter stuff. I don't know. We'll put that somewhere at some point. Let's put this in. Uh, I didn't do anything. Wait, what's happening? Can you go in there, please? Lovely stuff. We'll cook that at some point. Uh, Pathfinder gloves. Oh, did I not equip them? Let's equip them now. Lovely. The Silverhawk boots, sadly. And we're going to have to say goodbye to these absolutely beautiful things. <laughs> it's such a shame. Uh, we'll just chuck everything we can in here at the moment, actually. What's this? Offhand sword. Yeah, that can go in. That can go in. You can put all of these in. Lovely stuff. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm going to get uh, going with this. So let's have a look at what we can use these on. So release small lava lantern. I think it just gives us... What does it do? Gives you XP and bonus experience at the same time. Okay. What should we go for? Should we boost our range to so our attack gets better? Because we really do want our attack to be... Oh, no, but that's not a particularly hard skill. What skill should we put it in? What's construction? Now that is an annoying skill. Yep, I've already decided. We're putting it up in construction without doing anything. I actually think this is a good idea. Construction is a very money hungry um, skill. And I think that, that is probably a great choice. And what's this? It's making four start. Yep. Chucking it all into construction for the moment. I hope that that's a good idea. It really is a money hungry um, skill, and uh, so it's great to go up as many levels as you can without having to do anything. Um, so let's have a look what we can already na do now. We can make a clay fireplace, wooden bookcase, brown rug, and torn curtains. Yes, you can make your own houses in this game, guys. Uh, we will touch on that at some point when we've got a lot more money. Uh, because at the moment we can't afford a house but guys it's going to be great when we can and you can invite other players into it you can do all sorts of different stuff into it you can do your cooking in it all, all sorts of uh, little bits of skills in it um, but yes guys what am I going to do in between episodes mm -mm -mm, I'm probably going to cut down a few trees um, and then I'll show you what we've got at the end of that try and get us to oak trees um, yeah and I think uh I think that will be something for me to do in between episodes rather than wasting loads of time. But yes, guys, we're going to wrap this one up here. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. But apart from that, I'll see you in the next episode uh, where we'll be visiting Ashdale and, Ash and I'll be showing you what I've done in between episodes. Take care. See you then, guys. Bye-bye.